my critique of him comes in if you you should know your children and if you've never positioned your child to succeed oh that was the other thing i want to talk about so i'm glad it came back thank god um so if you haven't positioned your child to succeed then you shouldn't be surprised when you cut off the well and there's no life skills that have been put in place um and i got a bunch of thoughts going through my head so i'm gonna try and work through this so the first example i'll give you is power power is a tv show it's fictional but the reality of the premise is there. Uh, at the end of the day, and if you haven't seen Power by Now, it's too bad, spoiler alert. Uh, Ghost had set up a fund, in essence, for Tariq. Mm -hmm. That basically, if you go to school and you get your four-year degree, you get this money. There was something that he put in place that required Tariq at a young age to work to obtain the wealth that existed. Yeah. From what I can understand from the Dr. Dre situation, and in a lot of these cases where I believe we see failure on the children that grow up to be absolute jerks and drug addicts or whatever they become, is that that's the missing piece. It's one thing to grow up with a silver or gold spoon in your mouth, but if you are conditioned to work or to appreciate the wealth and that it's not just given, it needs to be earned, I think those people can take an empire from one level to the next level. When you're not and there's that you do you lack that structure and that dis discipline, I think you end up with these situations. So the the flip for me, and again, I'll use another TV example, is Hillary from Fresh Prince. I do not believe that if Hillary from Fresh Prince <laughs> was to be put out into the workforce, say at 25, I think she would fail. I think Carlton might have been able to do enough because he got enough maybe through his schooling. Hillary would struggle. So what I, for me, what I expect when I see these children, like the Huxable kids, most of them, I believe, turned out pretty decent. Except Once, for Denise. <laughs> well, except she for Denise. struggled. She did. Um, but I think their sh structure looked a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. I believe they had to work for things. They were taught good life lessons. And so to me, yes, Dr. Dre's daughter failed in... I've gone to school, I've went to college, and I've seen other a bunch of rich kids. People we went to high school with that, in hindsight, I realized they actually had a lot of money growing up that I didn't really realize at the time. <laughs> and I see where some of them are today, and it's just like, how? how? You messed that up. Like, you, you should have been farther. But I think it comes from the structure of the environment. And so for that, to me, is where I put it on Dre. Somewhere, somehow... He allowed her to get, I think she's what, 30-something now? She's almost 40. Yeah. Somehow, you allowed her to get all the way through almost her entire 30s on this allowance without developing some kind of structure. So for me to at, say she's 35, I don't know the numbers in my head. Say at 35, all of a sudden, you're like, you know what? We're done. I don't believe he set her up to be successful. I would imagine at that point, when you've had multiple children, that's my lifestyle now. You, I think you're asking a ton of someone to get out into the workforce who's never had to be in the workforce at late 30s, 40s.